Hey you guys, I hope you all are doing well. Today's wig is brought to you by DivaWigs.com. So I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig, the direct store. And also, if they have any social media links, I'll be sure to link it below as well. So your wig come in this pink, cute, silky satin bag. This clear plastic baggie with some paper in it and a hairnet. Barry took the wig out. Also comes with a brush, wig grip, hairnet, and Diva's wig manual. On the manual, it comes with the information about your wig, which I will write below if you're interested in mine. And it also comes with an elastic band, which is adjustable that you could attach to the wig. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. It comes with this really nice wave pattern. When you receive your wig, the knots come pre-bleached so you do not have to go in and bleach the knots yourself. On the side of the wig close to the air tabs, that's where you will hook your adjustable straps. The hairline comes pre-bleached so there's not much work you will have to do to the wig unless you want to go ahead and color the wig or even wash it. I couldn't figure out what I really wanted to do with this wig. First I was trying to do the half up half down style and I did all this work on the mannequin and I know it looks cute right? But I took it down. Yep, all that worked for nothing. I did a lot of work to get this style and look and I didn't do it. I ended up doing a right side part. So like I said before, Diva Wigs went ahead and plucked the hairline for me, so I did not have to go in and pluck the hairline. To me, um, the right side part is just a little bit over plucked, but they didn't do a bad job. It's still nice. Now I'm going to go in and do my baby hairs. I don't have a video of me installing the wig because I deleted it by accident. I'm so sorry. So I'll do a separate video on that really soon. But if you would like to know how I did it, I installed it with got to be glued freeze blast spray. Then I went over it with my blow dryer on cool. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take down the hair and combing it out with a wide tooth comb. The waves that's in the hair is the waves that came with the wig. So I just wanted to leave that and see how it would turn out. And it actually turned out pretty cute. This right here is pretty much my end result and to me it's pretty cute, it's really not bad. I think the lace blends really well with my skin. It's not HD lace and I'm not sure if it's transparent lace but it looks really nice. Like I said, I do think they overplucked the hairline just a little bit too much but just a little note that they could jot down for next time doesn't mean your wig have to turn out like this. The density of this wig is 150%, also the length of this wig on me is 22 inches and my height is 5'6". After about 4 days I took down the wig and I washed the wig, this is how it looks air dried. But then I realized the lace was just a little too light on my skin. This is how the lace comes with the wig and like I said before the knots come pre-bleached. So I was like eh, let me tone it down. So I got my wig gurus and when I got this I was so happy because I wanted to try it on this wig. So first I spray it directly on the lace underneath the wig. Then after that I go in and dry it with my blow dryer. The before and after really isn't that bad. I just really wanted to try my lace tint to be honest. Then it's still nice too, but I like the lace tint just a little bit more better. 
Now, this is eight days later, and I went ahead and straightened the wig, and I was feeling myself, boo. Then, I washed the wig again seven days later, but then I got bored of the straight hair and ended up putting it back on my mannequin head just to do a style that I only wore for a few hours. I don't know what it was, but my edges was balding on this wig, but when I installed it, it looked nice in the mirror when I was doing it. Then I went back and watched it over on my camera and said, oh no, this ain't it, baby. But overall, the hair on the wig did shed, but it was a decent amount, so I would say the shedding was medium. And with the balding edges, all you have to do is just cut off the extra lace. I didn't see it before because, like I said, in my mirror, it looked it really different. But then I watched my video and I was like, uh-uh, it looked like I got no edges. <laughs> like, uh-uh, and that's the wig. But as for tangling, I did get a few snags here and there, especially since I was sleeping with the wig, but nothing too hectic. My paddle brush got it right out. As for shine on the wig, the shine on the wig lasts for days. I really didn't have to put no shine product on this wig because like, it just stayed nice and shiny and it had the nice luster, not too shiny and not too dull, like it was right in between. So this wig can definitely keep going, but I think I'm just gonna throw it in my next wig sale. I'm gonna wash it, hook it up and refurbish it and put it in my next wig sale. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that. If not, then, you know, it's totally fine. And thank you so much to everybody that has been supporting my wig sale. They're really dirt cheap. I try to give back to you guys because I love you guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.